Good morning, Church. My name is Andy Pitt, and I attend Audacious Manchester Central, where I help out on the car park, and I also help lead in Alpha. Now, I'd like to talk to you today about miracles, and I'd like to start by looking at the definition of what a miracle is. In the Oxford Dictionary, it says, a surprising and welcome event that is not explicable by natural or scientific laws and is therefore considered to be the work of a divine agency. And my personal definition is simpler. My personal says, God's supernatural intervention in our natural lives. So I'm going to start off by reading you um, just a verse from Job 42. And that is at verse 2, which states, I know that you can do everything, and that no purpose of yours can be withheld from you. That's very true because he is very much uh, working his purpose out in each of our lives. Now, my miracle um, was told to me because it happened around the time I was born. Uh, my mother was heavily pregnant for me, and she woke up one morning with a great sense of urgency, and that the Lord was telling her to get to hospital which she did. So my, uh, they went along to Ermson Cottage Hospital and they did a number of tests and soon realised that she was very poorly indeed. And so they rushed her to Trafford Park Hospital by ambulance. Um, they gave her a number of drugs and induced her and I was born uh, a couple of days later. Now, whereas I thank God I was born healthy and well, her health deteriorated, unfortunately. So much so that the following Sunday, my dad and uh, my grandmother were called in to say their goodbyes. And they weren't allowed to stay with her in those days. Um, so when my dad came home, he went to church, as he did always on a Sunday, and um, they had special prayers for my mum while he was there. And he said, he's told me that he felt like um, the Lord's presence in the Holy Spirit was resting upon him, a bit like a cloud around him. When he uh, got up next morning, he went to the phone box uh, at the end of the street and phoned through to the hospital to discover that my mum's health had uh, improved so much she was out of danger. And over the next week, uh, she steadily improved and was able to return home with me eventually. Now, 27 years later, when she uh, was dying of cancer, she said to me that um, the Lord had saved her and that she'd had 27 years more on earth so that she could bring me up, um, give birth to my younger sister and bring her up, and also to adopt a couple of other children as well. So she's actually been a great mother to us all. Now, personally, I've had a, a number of times in my life where I look back and think, was that a miracle? Or was it just one of those things that, you know, that happened? We've, I'm sure we've all been there. I can recount a couple of times in Lake District where I fell and literally if it had been a few feet to the side I'd have either gone down a gully or um, over the edge of a cliff and that would have been certain death for me. Uh, my daughter had um, a condition in a teenage where um, I met with some chaps from, uh, from church and we, we prayed for her uh, before the um, the clinic appointment next day where she was being told she's going to have to have a, a, a brain shunt. And after the prayer, we went along and, thank God, uh, all was back to normal and she did no longer needed the shunt. And she's healthy and well and has just given me a, a baby grandson. So that in itself is a miracle. The other miracle that happened to me was uh, when I walked the Pennine Way. About 30 years ago, in my 20s, my dad and I went to, uh, we walk in the Pennine Way, went up Penny Ghent in North Yorkshire where there was uh, a really violent uh, lightning storm, the most, the worst I've ever experienced. Bolts of lightning were literally coming down all around us and all we could do was sit on our rucksacks, keep our heads down and pray that we, one wouldn't hit us. Thank God he protected us because one didn't and we continued on and completed the Pennine Way. I also believe there's many times in our lives when miracles happen, when we don't know about it. And I, I know that when we get to heaven and we meet with Jesus, I'm sure he will tell us of all those occasions where he's protected us, where he's healed us, where he's basically uh, stopped a disease developing that we never knew about. 
where he's protected us from someone who's going to attack us or kept us from death on our journeys. And there's all these times where I know that the Lord is working for us and is part of our lives 24 seven so that he's always watching over us. And that's reflected in that my second um, passage that I'm going to read to you, which comes from um, Psalm 121 and it's verses one to three. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. In other words, we keep our eyes on God and he keeps his eyes on us. So today, church, my prayer and my hope is that you can acknowledge God in every aspect of your life. And know that he's with you, watching over you. And he will give miracles to you in your lives. Sometimes without you even knowing. God bless.